Now that we've seen that the integers and the rational numbers have the same cardinality as the natural numbers, you might be thinking that every infinite set has the same cardinality. This is not the case, and we're going to see a set that has higher cardinality than the naturals. This set is a set of all numbers between 0 and 1 that can be written exclusively with zeros and ones. We're going to call this set A. And so one element of the set A is 0, 0 0.11111 and so on. Another element of the set A is 0, 0 0.01, 0, 0.01, 0, 1, and so on. Another element would be 0, 0.001, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, and so on. And so we're going to show using proof by contradiction that there is no injection from the natural numbers onto this set A. So if there was an injection, then we could list out all the elements of A. Um, so let's let F be our injection. And then to list out all the elements of A, we can simply do F of 0, f of 1, f of 2, f of 3, f of 4, and so on. And so, let's assume that we had this injection f, and um, we're going to, for example, say that f of 0 is 0 0.11111 and that f of 1 is 0 0.010101, that f of 2 is 0 0.1001001, and that f of 3 is 0 0.100001, and that f of 4 is 0. 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1. And of course, all these numbers just keep on going with more zeros and ones. Okay, so now that we have this list of all the elements of A, we're going to try to make a contradiction. And to make this contradiction, we're going to use a list to build the number that isn't on the list. And the way we're going to build this number is that we're going to look along the diagonal of this list. So first we're going to look at this number, then we're going to look at this number, and then this number, and then this number, and then this number. And we're going to construct a new number using these numbers, which isn't going to appear on the list. And so to do this, we're going to start with, of course, zero point because our number has to be between zero and one. And then we're going to, to uh, look at the first number on the, the first element. And so that's one. And we're going to do the opposite of one, which is zero. And then here, another one. And so we'll do another zero. And here we got a zero, so we'll do a one and a zero, so we'll do one, a zero, so we'll do one, and we'll just keep on doing this process as we go down the list. And so this number that we constructed, well, it can't be the first number because it, it has a zero here uh, as its first element after the decimal, whereas the first number has a one. And it can't be the second number because if you look at the second number after the decimal, well, that's a 1 and it's a 0. And as we go down the list, we see that we've constructed it to differ from each number on the list by at least one uh, digit. And so since this number can't be on the list, our assumption that we had listed all the numbers was wrong. And so the assumption that it's possible to list all the numbers is wrong because you can do this process in general no matter what the list of numbers is. And so this means that there are strictly more elements in A 
than there are in the natural numbers. And so um, we use the word uncountable to describe sets that have a cardinality strictly greater than the natural numbers. And we use the word countable to describe sets that have cardinality less than or equal to the natural numbers. So that means cardinality of the natural numbers and finite sets.